The key position in North Carolina's system is the point guard. A lot of responsibility, uh, what you got to do, you know, from an offensive standpoint, from a defensive standpoint to, you know, all the plays. Marcus Page is the clear leader of the group. Sophomore Nate Britt is looking to make a jump after an up and down freshman year. I feel a whole lot more comfortable. Um, I feel like I just have so much more knowledge of the things that um, we need to do the way coach wants me to play and the way Carolina basketball is. So um, I'm a whole lot more confident and a whole lot more comfortable. And Nate is super crafty. Uh, whenever, whenever you're going up against him in practice, you always, you always got to keep your head uh, on a swivel because he, he'll surprise you with something. He's so crafty. Uh, you can use both hands really well. Joining Britt as a sophomore this year is Stillman White. White last played in the Elite Eight against Kansas in 2012. After two years away from basketball on a Mormon mission, White has been a pleasant addition to the team. No, I actually on my mission I touched the basketball about two times. Uh, so, you know, basketball wasn't my focus at all. I would think that'd be hard to take two years off of competitive basketball. Um, but he's sort of just picked up, I, I think he's more confident than where he left off. You know, I, I, there's obviously some rust to shake off, but he's shooting the ball well. Um, he's stronger, he seems a little more athletic, um, you know, he's understanding quite a bit of stuff, and uh, he, he loves competing, you know, I think he's just, I think he's happy to be out there again. Freshman point guard Joel Berry joins the team with a strong frame and ability to get to the rim. Uh, he's a winner, uh, I just I like his competitiveness, he was tough, um, he knew how to run a team. Somebody who's the best guard in the country in the senior class, and he's a sophomore, he was going to go right at him. And uh, he, he has that bulldog mentality. He just, he just attacks the basket. For a freshman, he's super impressive. Um, he's very seasoned. He, uh, he, he's the mental part of the game he knows very well. And uh, you know, physically, he's so strong. Senior Luke Davis prides himself on his ball handling and has even led the team in drills. Luke's actually the best ball handler I've, I've ever seen. Um, I remember the first week of practice our freshman year. I remember him coming off uh, after practice and saying, man, you know, I need to work on my ball handling. You know, ever since that day, that, uh, I remember he's, he's worked on it for practice, after practice. I feel like we all can take a little bit from him, but it's not weird. We all know that Luke can dribble the ball. He's the best ball handler we have on our team. Unfortunately, Davis will miss the next two to three months with a stress fracture in his right foot. The added depth at point guard will already prove to be valuable. Uh, I think having depth at that position is a lot more important than you know lacking depth in that in that position, as we saw a couple years ago uh, going down into the Elite Eight. So um, I'm happy we have that much depth, and I think it'll help us out. During his first few months at Carolina, freshman Justin Jackson has shown he is an efficient scorer. The Texas native led the team in scoring in both the late night with Roy scrimmage and exhibition against Fayetteville State. Jackson's ability to run the floor and knock down perimeter shots could make him a key contributor. He's just really efficient. Uh, he's been that way for years. I played against him on the AAU circuit and, and watching him play. He just he doesn't force anything, and he just makes the right decisions. And uh, that's gonna come. That's gonna be a big benefit for us uh, down the stretch when we need him. Uses his length, you know, six seven, six eight on the wing. That creates problems for people. You know, he, he upsets me when he shoots floaters because I, I can't really get to those. <laughs> so he's got me a couple of times. There's a burning desire in there. Uh, to want to be uh, not just good, but he'd like to be great. Jackson's maturity and composure have also impressed the coaching staff. 
He's a capable scorer. I think that he he does have a good feel for the game. He has a lot of he's a good basketball instincts, um, good basketball savvy, and I think that's that's very helpful for a guy who has the ability to score. He's conditioned to work hard. He's been conditioned to work hard. Justin was, was um, homeschooled, and so his homeschool team would practice like at you know six o'clock in the morning, and he was you know, 40 to 45 minutes away. So he was like getting up at some ungodly hour. And I think he has been groomed to work and, and understand the sacrifices that you have to make in order to work at a high level. And he's a lot more vocal. He's, he feels very comfortable with his teammates. And uh, I think he's becoming that way with the coach and staff. And, you know, so now we get to see the real Justin. He has a gift, the ball just sort of finds his hands and he's at the basket and there's nobody guarding him, he lays it up. I've never seen him get frazzled, I've never seen him get frustrated. He's, I've seen him get upset at himself, but he's very comfortable in that pace and, and does some good things. And I think he's really working hard defensively and I think that's gonna help him get even more playing time and be a better player down the road too. Although he is probably best known for his highlight reel dunks, junior J.P. Tokoto has developed into one of the most versatile members of the team. When he gets the ball in the fast break, you don't want to stand in the rim because you know what's going to happen. Front court to Tokoto, he's going to get the monster down! Boy, Andrew Harrison wanted a piece of that and he could get nothing for it. He can guard multiple positions. Virtually impossible to box him out. He always finds a way to get there. Hubert off the back oh. of the air to Tokido with a slam. Tokido up in the sky. Maybe one of the most athletic guys that um, we've probably ever coached. Uh, explosive. Tokido over Johnston. Oh. Elevation. He can out jump all of our big guys. I mean, he's a very athletic person when it comes to rebounding the basketball. I mean, he can score here and there, it's just, I mean, when it comes to rebounding that ball, um, offense or defense, he can really do that well. He can see things that uh, a lot of people don't see, and, and somebody said, who made that pass? And I said, hmm. you know, everybody knew when JP made that pass, you know, yeah, because he's one of those guys. Now, he's a, he's a risk taker, you know, he's a risk taker with, with the basketball. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad, you know, but that's a part of it. There's always been something about making a, a great pass, you know, alley-oop to someone else. Just getting assists, I don't know, it's something about filling the stat line, it, it, it makes me feel good. So, so uh, you know, whenever I, I have the chance, you know, make a nice pass and make a nice play or help make a nice play, whether it's a screen or a, a rebound to an outlet, something like that, I like to do it. Defensively, can slide his feet and can be, be the best, got quick hands, and, you know, he. He does a lot of things to help our basketball team and can be such a glue kind of guy. You know, last year, Coach, you know, called upon me to be our defensive stopper for the team. So coming from Coach, you know, that was kind of a, a great accolade. I feel like JP has, he does so many intangibles for us. Um, he can rebound, um, he can run the, run the break, um, he can push the ball in the break, he can run the lane in the break. There's so many different things that he can do that can help us a lot. The Tar Heels' first exhibition game showed that they can rebound effectively, share the ball, and get quality shots in what amounted to a glorified practice. Carolina has another week and a half of practice before its final preseason test against Belmont Abbey.